Guys, Niantic has just given us a whole bunch of information on the upcoming Buddy Adventure System, and it's so cute. Oh my God. So it should be, what they've said is, it is set to roll out to trainers around the world by 2020, which I'm taking to mean by the first of 2020 and not the end of 2020. So we should see it rolling out within the next couple of weeks. So what the buddy adventure feature is, is a way for you to bond more with your buddy. So it's not just, hey, it walks around with you and sometimes you get a candy. There is now, it's basically a fully fledged feature. And it starts by feeding your buddy candy. So feed your buddy candy, and then it starts to like you a little bit more, and it starts following you around on the map. And oh my God, it is the cutest. I'm gonna keep saying this, but it's so cute. So Niantic have put loads of effort into making sure that every Pokemon has an appropriate animation to walk around with. So if you've got a Magikarp, you'll see it flapping along behind you. Lugia and Ho-Oh, you'll see like flying gracefully through the air. And then you have Waylord, who is just like swishing along. Apparently they swim in air now, much like Magikarp, but it looks really good. Of course, I fully expect to wind up tapping on my buddy a lot because I already, now that I have the Galarian beanie in game, I swear I am constantly thinking, oh look, a Meditite just behind my avatar icon. Oh no, it's my hat. So that's just the first stage. And what you want to actually do is build a bond with your buddy over time. There are two different ways that it measures that. The first one is your buddy's mood, and that's a daily thing. So every day you're gonna have to get your buddy's mood up. But as your buddy's mood gets better, you also earn hearts, and hearts go into a thing called affection. Affection is the long-term thing, and that is measured much like with friends. That's measured in four different stages. So let's talk about mood first. Your buddy starts out hungry, I'm not sure what it's actually called, but basically feed him something and he'll get a little bit happier. You might have heard from data miners, or you may have already noticed in the video, there was an item called a puffin that you can feed to your Pokemon. That works like the berries as well, so that's a new item that you can feed to make your Pokemon a little bit more excited. And then you have a bunch of other actions you can take to raise its mood. And you're guided through these actions with a list of daily activities that you can see in the new buddy screen. So it'll be things like walk together, give your buddy a treat, play together in the new AR mode, battle together, take a snapshot, or visit a new place. In other words, go see, go spin a new Pokestop or a new gym. That one's gonna be a bit harder to hit every day, but that's okay because there are loads to do and you don't have to hit all of them every day. So as you do these activities, as I say, you gain hearts, but it also increases your buddy's mood all the way up to excited level. And you want your buddy to be excited because you get perks, which are, the distance it takes for your buddy to find candy will be cut in half. And I don't know how that works when your buddy gets less excited again. Like, do you just earn distance at double the rate? The number of hearts earned per action will be doubled. So presumably give your buddy a treat and instead of getting one heart, you get two. And trainers can earn bonus hearts when your Pokemon is excited. Bonus hearts are cool because these are things that your Pokemon does when it's very happy with you. So yay, validation. So that will be things like when your buddy is walking around on the map, Sometimes it'll run off towards a Pokestop and it wants you to go visit that Pokestop. So spin that and maybe your Pokemon will give you a bonus heart. Sometimes it'll also bring you presents, which are useful items like a berry or a potion. And sometimes it'll bring you souvenirs. I don't know exactly what souvenirs are, but they are collectible items that will be shown in your profile that can be used as a reminder of places you've traveled. So possibly it's like in Let's Go when your Pikachu or Eevee would give you like, here's a little leaf bundle and you can't do anything with it. You're just like, oh, thank you, Pikachu. And you put it away in your bag and you forget about it. Regardless, it's still a heart, which goes towards raising your buddy's affection level, which means you're better friends with your buddy. Aww. Affection levels are listed similar to your friend levels, but they're measured slightly differently. So you have the four categories, good, great, ultra, and best. A good buddy, basically feed it once, you now have a good buddy, hooray, well done. Great buddies, your buddy might help you out in Pokemon encounters apparently. I'm not sure what that means. Maybe it'll go off and like make friends with a, a little Pokemon that makes it easier to catch. I'm just speculating here. And this is when it'll give you presents, which in the blog post says items that can help you in your Pokemon journey. So that's the potions and the berries. Once you get to Ultra Buddy, 
Your buddy will help you explore by letting you know about interesting places nearby, so this is when it might want to wander off and check for a Pokestop. Possibly point to them, I'm not sure exactly how it indicates. And this is when it can also start bringing you the souvenirs. And then your best buddy! Your Pokémon gets a little blue ribbon! Yay! But not just a ribbon. As long as your Pokémon is still assigned as your buddy, then it gets a CP bonus in combat! So it is functional. I don't know how big this CP boost is, I don't know how it'll work in PvP, I don't know if it'll be raids. All they've said is a boost in combat, which is still pretty good. And they've said that the buddy level will never go down. So while your friends, you know, if you unfriend someone, then your friend level gets reset after three months, I think it is. Buddy levels never get reset. And also your candy walking distance now will never get reset. So you can swap your buddies in and out, even if you've got like, you know, you've walked four kilometers for a five kilometer candy distance. You don't lose that. So there is another improvement because now you have incentive to swap Pokemon all day, every day. And you may as well never put Pokemon Go down. Cause we gotta feed our buddies. But you know what? That's fine because frankly, I'm kind of tired of feeding Pineapps and Nanabs to gyms for 20 Stardust each. I have like 200 Pineapps right now. I don't need 200 pineapps. We're just out of community day. At least now I have another way to dump them. Feeding your buddy now happens in the new AR Plus mode and this is where it's super cute. Not only can you feed your buddy, you can run around like waving a berry at it and it'll come running around after you. Or you can do things like tap your buddy, stroke its little head and it'll react. So this is why I keep saying it's so cute. I have a little virtual friend now. I have real friends as well, but they don't let me stroke their hair. I do need to point out, if your phone doesn't run AR Plus mode, that's okay, you shouldn't be locked out of any features. It just means that like with a normal AR mode, your Pokemon in the environment won't look quite as good. So here we have a screenshot of Squirtle being fed outside, and you'll notice the icon at the very top. From what I've seen, the face at the top indicates how good your Pokemon's mood is. And I can only assume that means that the circle, the pink circle that's filling up, shows you how much feeding or how many actions you need to do to get to the next level. I don't know how much time you're gonna have to spend with your Pokemon every day, but presumably Puffins will make things, because they're a new item, they'll make that fill up faster. And then yes, Niantic has their whole thing of wanting people to explore and exercise, so you'll probably have to walk around a bunch. But it's nice to see that there is a meter there, so you can see how close you are to the next level. And then right at the end of the blog post, they talk about an upcoming thing, so this won't be available at launch, but it will be coming later, and that is shared AR experience. So now, not only can you interact with your buddy as it walks around in AR, you can take photos of your buddy with your friend's buddies as well. So you can sync with up to two other trainers and therefore have three buddy Pokemon and take little photos of them. So cute. I don't know if they'll interact with each other. I don't know if you can then start poking their buddies and feeding them as well. Photos of more than one Pokemon is pretty cute, right? Anyway, that's the buddy feature, so thank you very much for watching. Please hit the like button, think about subscribing if you enjoy this. I will have more videos next year. Oh, of course! We have the winter event coming up. So I'll definitely make some videos about that, because I've just remembered, oh no, Cub Chew is happening. But there's other good stuff as well. Other tiny bits of news that come out. Shiny Gibble is now available thanks to the Egg Shake-Up. I don't know what a Gibble is. It's some kind of myth, right? No, I do actually have, I've seen one Gibble. One Gibble since they came out and that was in London. And my husband has hatched two, so I might get one more of him, but that is it. So Shiny Gibble. I suspect that will be one of the last things I get. And finally, January Community Day has been announced for Sunday 19th January, 11am to 2pm in your local time. So good luck if you're in the Southern Hemisphere where it is going to be extremely hot. And actually good luck to those of us in the Northern Hemisphere where it's going to be extremely cold. Anyway, thank you all and I'll see you next time. Goodbye!